What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy Rock Brown. Yeah, we got a lot of folks with us today, so we, we locked in, man. This is Cigar Talk with uh, we going it ain't Cigar Talk with Jimmy no more. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Push it to side. Yeah, man, you gotta move yeah. around, man. So y'all grown, man. Yeah, grown, you know. Grown. So it is Cigar Talk with Urban Prestige Cigar Life. Right. UPCL. All right. UPCL. UPCL. And not, not to confuse UPC with the you know the scanner joint, so you gotta make sure you get your yeah. SKU number and all that, you know, for those that <laughs> was in sales before, you know what I'm saying? So you know me, I'm your dog Rock Brown, and we just gonna, we're gonna go left and right, man, get everybody that uh that locked in with us today. So we got here. Man, it's your boy P R E V I it's the best of the 806er, man. Appreciate you having me, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie, I was hoping you to say your name so we can learn how to pronounce that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 it's <laughs> Prevence, man. It's Prevence. It's Prevence. It's Prevence, man. Some people would be like, it's not. People would be like, Prevence, people would yeah. be like, I hear a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? I used to be on some if you say my name, but if you, if you get it right, if you get it wrong, you just, I'm just happy you saying it. Right, yeah, right. it's Prevish, you know what I'm saying? Prevish, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, at first, like, when I first met you, I was like, Pre? Yeah, it was yeah. like, nah, I'm here, Pre. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoever heard of uh, Webby was like, it ain't Weeby, it's Webby. Yeah, okay. it ain't Pre, it's Webby, it's Webby, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we at. We already know my dog, you know what we at. Yeah, just a waste of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know it's me, Jimmy. I'm the first piece of Yeah, yeah. I'm on the mail. Mills, uh, you know, face of the Super 806, face of the Culture Lounge, face of the Rumber Studio, going right here, right now. About to learn a little thing or two about some cigars. Yeah, you know, okay. Right? Learn a little. <laughs> we heard it for the same reason. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 I gotta, keep, I gotta make sure I'm not looking at the computer and looking at this damn camera, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. I'm, I usually had a, a camera or computer, yeah. but we did today. But um, a lot of stuff, man. Man, I appreciate that. Thank, you. thank you, man. We just trying to uh, lock it in. As you see, we still kind of getting everything in tune, yeah, but it's still like it's like like a set, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's got its own character. I appreciate it. Oh, we're trying to work, baby. <laughs> and we got some of the heavy hitters from the 806 here today. So this is this is crumb for me because you know I remember reaching out to you yeah. when we first uh, when we first kind of got on the scene and I was telling you man you know you're you're one of the people that's really in tune to the underground right and so when I met Prev I'm like the same sh like yeah so whenever I want to go um, know anything about the hip hop scene underground these are two guys that I would recommend out the gate for sure. anything underground 806 yeah. you know love to Amarillo and all that so yeah. i appreciate y'all being locked in like that man so um so this is what you know we're gonna kick it off first like we do every uh set with what we're smoking and uh I i'll kick it off because i don't know back of rap Oh, you still smoking? Now? I'm still smoking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing he gave me. This crazy season. I mean, I, I gave it to him a while back. Wait, <laughs> like you seen me running yeah. around working, man? Come yeah. on. Yeah, well, I'm about to fire this bitch back up. But yeah, I got this back of rap, man. Pook said it was too weak for him, so he gave it to me. What that say about me, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it's it starting now. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we still kicking it in. Uh, my boy, he ain't. Man, the, the plug ain't pull up on me, so I, I couldn't get what I needed. The, the special feeling from my special <laughs> cigar. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cigarless right now. But next time, I will have some funk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, 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 so cigars ain't your thing. Um, I just really haven't gotten to it. I'm not really a tobacco man. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, um, mm -hmm. nah, I guess not. Guess not. But look, but in terms of like the weed, I'd rather uh, a swisher versus a bong or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, yeah. I like rather smoke it. Yeah, just, I mean, maybe it's the yeah, repetition you know, or the yeah. yeah, they do the, they do the papers, man. They just really, yeah. Paper. So, yeah, that, that's what filter. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You put filters in your work? Nah, no. but I, I think they made for me the, the cigars too coarse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I come across something smooth, you know, so my man will put me on or something, you know what I'm saying? I like how you, you say, you say dip it in the drink. Yeah. yeah. I'll go oh, here. Right. Right. Hey, he, 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 he said dip the cigar in the drink. 
You said that whole lot. I'm like, what you got? Uh, Arturo, I got this from Jimmy. It's nice. I'm going to smoke on the rest of this, and then I'm probably fire up a punch. The, punch that came out. the new punch. That looks like the, uh, yeah. the one that came out. Yeah. 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 I don't even know the style and the size, yeah, size dictates that, but I, I had to be, yeah, to be looking to that one. Mm -hmm. I grabbed that bad boy right there because you know that's that Puentes, and that, yeah, you got to have a good smoke. Are there, oh, yeah, so. is, is there a difference in like you said? Is this would that be considered a cigarillo or what? You know what I'm saying? What is? No, no, it wouldn't be considered a cigarillo. They got different names for them. It's all based oh, on the size and stuff okay. like that, and then the and style of it. So. You know, we, we can we can get into that uh, another day on exactly which ones that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, that gets yeah. deep. There's a few of them. Oh, yeah, this is, this yeah, is a deep, deep game. Deep, yeah, I walked into yeah, it's a Good Karma today. All right, what's it called? Good Karma? Karma Good? good, this good, is good. That, that's, that's, that's one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Good Karma. Good yeah. Karma, okay. Good Karma, y'all. Shout out to Let's Go Shop. Yeah. Good yeah. Karma, yeah. man. That's yeah, another yeah. one. Definitely yeah. something I didn't expect. Yeah. I mean, cigars everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. So, this is deep. Yeah, very much, very much so. So, so what, 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 what you right, got? So I came in with the Agent Room Quattro today, so I'm gonna give this a shot, man. This is Cigar of the Year for 2019. So this is this is a 96, which is almost unheard of when it comes to cigar game. So we gotta see, man. You got that type of rating on a cigar? What's the rating? I'm gonna see. It's a 96. Say it again. 96. For the people in the back. <laughs> 96. What's, what's 96. the price? What's the price? like that? Man, it just depends, man. Wherever you grab it, at, man, it, it 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 varies, man. So you you could go probably, you know, anywhere from you know eight nine dollars a stick. You know, this could go up to depending on where you at, man, fifteen sixteen dollars a stick. So okay. it just it, it just varies where you buy it. That's mm -hmm. really, it's really what makes a difference on that. All right, so what what you pull up with All today? Right. So you know, I walked into Good Karma. Shout out Good Karma. Shout out Josh at Good Karma. I gotta do the plug. You know what I'm saying? He's a right, good right. guy. Right. That's the kind of person I am. You a good guy. I'm the type of person I work in sales and retail and all that stuff. So it's all about customer service with me, man. Mm -hmm. It's all about customer service with me. Um, and he helped me out. He helped me, I told him I didn't know a thing about cigars. I told him I never really smoked one outside of the day that my daughter was born. And that was just some shit you got getting a gift shop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like that. I like that. I, when I have a kid, I'm going to do that. I like that. I like that. I'm going to pay time like, hey. Hey, yeah. 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 Okay, so, so it's let's talk about Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It's called Sobrema Sauce. or something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so he, he told me, he's like, the people that you smoke with know anything about cigars, I know you got a good one. He said it's, it's like, he, he said it's got no, nothing infused in it, but it's got a coffee taste. And people swear it's got a coffee infused, but it's not, it's all original. Oh. Uh, he said that it's light, and, uh, and he said it, it tastes good with some whiskey. And, oh, really? Yeah, some whiskey, so here we are. Here we are, baby, you know what I'm saying? And what is that called again? I couldn't pronounce it, man. It's Sobremasa. 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 I got a crown on that bitch. I like that. Man, you already get it with that. Yeah. Then I told him, I said, I want to go ahead and get, drop off a gift while I'm there with them. So what could I get? You know, something that, that I can get. So I'm going to give this to you, but it's in a cigar. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. My man just popped yeah. up with yeah. the cigar, fella, yeah. man. I don't know shit on how to use it, so I'm going to have to have you show me, man. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I, we did an episode. What was the second episode we did? Something like that, yeah. And I'm, I'm sitting there looking at this bitch, and I'm just like, Man, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, yeah. I really need one. Yeah, okay. So, um, obviously, okay, and something that I've learned, you know, something that I've learned since we've been doing this, uh, -huh. uh obviously you could too. Yeah, you know that. Just off all the way up? No, you nah, you don't want to get past that rim for real. You want a rim if you look at the close as a cap on the cigar. Okay. You just want to clip the top of that cap off. That's it. Yeah. See, now I know why all my other cigars kind of messed up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Taking off the, like, it's like, it's like, you know what I mean? So, what you, what you do right here, man, you, you don't want to take too much because you get off in here. Yeah. You get to the good, you know, you just want to take that little, that little back end off right there. Right, so you can get your good little, your little draw. So, you clip that, get our tobacco exposed, mm -hmm. you know, dust it off a little bit, do it that way, and you're good to go. Yeah. That's now, all it takes. Now, check this out, right? You see, see how you clip, show you how you, how you yeah. clip this. You got the V cut there. Mm -hmm. That's a different type of. I mean, you probably don't. You, know, you, <laughs> that shit, you know what I'm saying? 
put this like this. Yeah, it's, it's that beat cut, and it's and it's you know it probably pulls different. I'm sure. But he says you know he mentioned mean? something about a punch. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I was like, that was seventy dollars. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't wait for the tip punch. Punch again, yeah, man. They got a few out there. So, oh, yeah. I mean, dude, I'm nervous as fuck. And also, yeah, I'm nervous. Just going to put the tip up. There, there you go, man. All you right. know, we in there. Got right, the you go. thank, good, thank good you call. again. This has got the wood grain on it. Good call, wood, wood, wood grain. Appreciate y'all, <laughs> man. Appreciate meals, Mr. Soup 806. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Also, and I'm not sure if you know this because. I've talked to some people that don't know much about cigars, and uh, you don't inhale. <laughs> I never got that. I never understood. Yeah. That. But no, like, all right, you know how people like even with smoke weed, like they do the thing where they make some through nose. Yeah. And I don't know how to like. Yeah. Make smoke coming in my mouth when I inhale. <laughs> so I never. That's one of the things I never got. So y'all explain to me and to the, all the other novices how you even go about that. Let my guy it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's, it's puffing. Yeah, it's about it's it. Right. That's it. That's it. Puffing it, but without inhaling. Right. Right. Oh, just man. Just bring it to your mouth and blow it out, man. You know how many blunts I done smoked and I can't just. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, even a kid will come and do the little fresh and hell thing, and I'm like, I don't know how to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, facts. Yeah. Facts. Let me hook up our, our studio audience. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you, look, you look that cool. We Like I said, we're working on our studio, so we got some things in order, but, but it's pretty dope. So, um, yeah, what you want to do, man? Like it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, put it in. Let me see this. Is. So, what you want to do is you, is you hit the mic. You know, you, you torch yeah, the side. I don't know what the display right now. I feel like it's going to burn. It's going to burn it through it. Yeah, okay, so don't discourage it. it. Don't yeah. discourage it. Yeah. You have that fire on it. Once you get that fire on it, you get that fire on it. Let that fire burn itself out. Don't, don't blow the fire. Don't blow it up. Why not? Man, that's okay. Hey, it's torch. 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 What I heard is they uh talk stuff. Now you want to spin that, spin that. Yeah, there you go. You good to go, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't inhale, bro. Don't inhale. Don't inhale. Listen to Clint, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, um. I, I just so for the die for a minute. All right, no lie. The reason why I did that is because I can inhale it. You can inhale this. So if I can inhale it to me, it's just too weak. It's too weak. Oh yeah. So it needs to be able to stop you from. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Man, that's I, I drove shit hard. I think I've accidentally uh, inhaled that mac and noodle. Nigga, try to keep his composure. I'm sitting there like, look at me, be like, man. I got something to stuck you if you want. <laughs> hey, what's nah, up? Like, you already know the vibe. Hey, we can take a interlude. Yeah, we don't take a interlude. You know, we don't take a interlude. Look at me, it's pulling up, man. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. There's a difference for that. And see, that's another thing. And this is something we talked about in previous uh, episodes where you get through that cigar, man, you can get through two thirds of that cigar and it'll taste different. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? so yeah, so it's levels to that burn. That cigar is going to taste different as you get through it. I I'm gonna have some whiskey in my system. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> which guy, man. So, uh, let, let's have just a, uh, we have a cigar talk real quick. So we, I wanted to talk about humidors. We were supposed to talk about this last time, you know, and we had a lot of shit going on. So tell me about humidors and what they do and what they're for and how they can help your cigar life, your urban prestige cigar life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So as far as humidors go, man, you, you what what they are, man, is when you have a stock of cigars, like so, you know, one or two, one or one or two cigars, you know, one or two off, you know what I'm saying? You really don't need humid, humidify. But if you got a stock of cigars going, you're gonna want to be able to keep them as fresh as long as possible, mm-hmm. right? And so, you know, they they have cigars that they have kept for years, you know what I'm saying? And so that all has to do with the humidity level and keeping it keeping it right, right? So you know, you don't want them to be too dry. And you don't want the moisture level to be too heavy on the bad boys. So when it gets too heavy, that's when you'll you'll get mold and you'll get plumes and stuff like that. So you don't want that type of thing happening. So you want to stick with stick with the the, uh, the humidity at a certain point that's going to allow you to be able to keep your cigars do, good. Do, do, um, do multiple cigars like compete for the moisture in the air? Will you be yeah, yeah. I mean, just, just like anything, because it's 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 actually a leaf, right? 
So it's so it's living in a, in a way, and so it does absorb moisture, and that's that's just how they make. You know, the thicker a leaf, the more moisture it's going to absorb, and it depends upon your cigars. You have some cigars that are made with thinner leaves, thicker leaves, stuff like that, and that makes a difference on the the, the humidity as far as where you set it. At. Yeah. You know, you know people people talk about you know the seventy seventy rule, right? So at seventy percent humidity, it's seventy degrees, right? And that's that's kind of a hard and fast rule that some people go by. But it also depends upon your cigar. And then your, your cigar manufacturer can also recommend where you should have the humidifier level at. You know, that, you know, my my personal preference, I, I keep it 62 to 68, somewhere in that range right there. That to me gives gives a good burn. It keeps it from, from having over moisture and it gives a real good fresh flavor with your cigars. And then you can age them over time with stuff, something like that. So I so want y'all cigar heads to get mad at me, but I'm ghetto, right? All right. But there's a humidifier thing in the refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not it, the same. It, it, it must be, is that an option? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Next to the milk, y'all. Next to the two billion. Why you grab that for me, man? Why you grab that for me, man? You know what I'm saying? That's what we'll put it down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it in the crisp before it came to it. Anywhere you want to put it, man. For real? That's probably like two days, probably the limit of this. It's gonna dry it out fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now, um, I was looking at some stuff, you know, just trying to brush up on my my knowledge, and I seen this nasty fucking cigar, bro. Mm -hmm. It had white rust and weird shit. And then when I was looking in the comments, because um, it was one of those cigar uh, lounges in Facebook, and um, they had like that was like plume. That mm -hmm. that's that's a mold. That's not mm -hmm. but plume is mold. Mm -hmm. So. How much plume is good plume, and does humidifier add to the plume, or does that help with keeping plume off of it? And some people do like the plume, so how does that work? Man, I'm not a plume person, bro. I, I, I don't, I don't do anything that look like it's got mold. I'm good. Yeah, I, I can't. You know, there are yeah, some people that's like, oh, it's got a little plume and it just dusts it off. It's good. Yeah, but no, that ain't that ain't that ain't how it works. That's like so, eating molded cheese. Yeah, I mean the, the yeah. fermented cigar, basically the fermented <laughs> yeah. cigar. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I mean, does that give you, I wonder if it gives you any sort of like head change or feeling no. or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, so what's your purpose of plume? Yeah. Like it just mm. some people smoke it, so what is the purpose yeah, of the plume? I thought it would make you got you extra high. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Fucking uh, acid trip or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's basically yeah. mildew, right? That's it, that's it. It's basically it's mildew. mildew. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's its own type of mold. That's good. Yeah. Because you know when you when you put moisture to something over an extended period of time at a certain temperature, it will grow mold. Yes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's that's what a plume is. And like I said, there's some people that's like, oh, it's still good. I'm gonna smoke it anyway. Right. Nah. So it's just <laughs> no reason to be on there. There's no reason and, for it. Not in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Everything everything when it comes to cigars <laughs> is so subjective. <laughs> 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 You can't do it in here, you gotta go outside. I ain't gonna do it. I'm a smoker, man. I'm not a cigar smoker, but I smoke. It takes practice and technique, bro. This is that. I don't even feel right this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 When you're taking these deep hits on these things, man, because you got certain people that take a deep puff, right? Yeah. You you want your cigar to be enjoyed, right? Yeah. It's it's about enjoy. It's not a it's not a quick thing. It's not a, it's not a we trying to knock it because you got cigars like this cigar here, in and of itself, it's probably an hour long smoke, right? Yeah. And, and and what you're doing is is you want that you want a good ash. You want your ash to be probably about an inch, maybe a couple inches is where you want to be. You dust it off and you start again, something like that. But really, I mean, if you take your puff, you'll see me do something like, and that's all the puff I hit for a second, right? And that's just to get the flavor in your mouth. Yeah. You know, some people, it's it's kind of like that's a, a it's it. kind of like a good wine, right? right? So if you take a good wine, what you want to do with that wine is you'll take it, you you swish it around a little bit, you get your aroma, and your aroma is where you get your flavor. So then you you drink you drink your notes, right? Yeah. So when you drink your wine, you get the notes, you get the flavor, you get it all through there. Right. Same type of thing with a cigar, you know. You take it, you know what the what, what it is, what it's gonna hit like, and you take it, you take your hit, yeah. and then you, you hit the flavors. You taste the flavors and go through it. And you just blow it out. So you don't you don't inhale it. Because yeah. if you inhale a cigar, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's not going to be right when you be all right sometimes. Yeah. But if you got like a duro, yeah, 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 yeah. a good a good age duro or something like that, one that's that's, that's really uh, it's hard, hard, it's hard, hard, yeah, hard to catch yeah, breath, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not even catching your breath, man. It's like a immediate sickness, man. It just I about, gets in you. Know. About two, ten years ago, and it was just a black mile. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? My boy, he just hopped off some. You know what I'm saying? And he hit the black mile like it was a cigarillo. I watched like a grown heavy set man just fall straight in the <laughs> oh, man. Man. Like, and I was like, oh, you ain't supposed to hit those like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nah, that, you, that's crazy. Yeah. Cigars, you, 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 you just so enjoy this. It's, it's, it's an enjoy. It's an enjoy thing. Man. So it's I gotta get So you want, you want your, you want, why you want your ash to go like that? Well, because the ash, if you, if you, it, it all has to do with your, your structure, your structure of a cigar. A well constructed cigar, it's, it's gonna hold an ash nicely. Right, right, and so that also has insulating factors, in it, right? So that, that helps you keep your fire on there, right? because if you look at the tip of it, you see the red, right? Yeah. And so when you have that ash on it, it, it helps it to hold that, that 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 fire as evenly as possible, right? So that that's 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 part of that, man. Right? It really gives you a good enjoyable experience. So as you let it cool down, you ever chew on your? No, nah, no, nah, that's old school stuff. It's old school. I, I, don't, I don't chew on mine. I know it. There are some people that hold it in their mouth. Well, he just yeah. chews it until it gets to a certain level. And then it away. My cigar is starting to canoe. That's some shit I like too. It's canoeing. If you see how that burn, yeah. and for my for my dody smokers, you know, that's that really got to hit it. Like that. I can't even in front. Y'all got me hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I'm loving it like, man, like, what's going on? So man, we before we get into our other talks, you know what I'm saying? So how, how we how we tasting so far? What do you feel? Um, what do you feel about I got like thoroughly like wow, this tastes like a, like a cigar I wanna smoke, but I mean <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm smoking it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I wanna I, I wanna try some more though. What's like, it taste like to you? Mm-hmm. So there's like a flavor that that I feel really that I like, but it's just a tobacco. I just feel like it's made out of. You don't get that coffee taste that they was talking about? No, no, no. That's it, okay. I don't, I don't hear the coffee. Boom, sticks are here. Hey, it's hey, 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 That's black wife. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> you know, how you doing? That's wife, we there. So, shout out to all the first ladies, you know what I'm saying? Word. Shout out, shout out. Word. Um, what about, what about that one, man? What you feel about that one so far? Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. That 96 rating that they put on this bad boy is, is talking about something. Okay? Mm-hmm. Cause this is this is a Nicaraguan cigar. And I, I, I talk about it. Exactly. I feel that the Nicaraguan tobacco. The the, the the flavor of it is smooth, it's mellow, it's got a leatheriness to it. I mean, it, you you just you get just a, an all around even tone with this cigar, mm-hmm. and that's and that's a beautiful thing, you know, because that's what you're looking for. Now that's the first third. That, I, that, I, that I've that i worked into. So now we're going to the second third. So we're gonna see what the second third is and how that how that taste changes up. And the same thing with yours, my man. You're going to the second third pretty soon here. Mm-hmm. And so your taste is gonna change just a little bit on that cigar. Mm-hmm. And you'll, you'll get to know, okay, this is really what I'm looking for. This really ain't what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, everybody who smokes cigars, you, 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 you're getting certain things out of it, right? You're getting right. certain, certain tastes, certain, certain flow out of it. So for me, this is beautiful, man. This is yeah. as far as dark as the binder as the wrapper is on this thing. You would think it would be a heavier smoke. This is very mellow, but it's very full body. It doesn't have a lot of pepper. It doesn't even have a bad uh, retro head, which is your, which is your back end, right? So you you don't get any any craziness on the back end. So it's it's just it's consistent all the way around, man. This is this is definitely something I would call a '96, man. This is this is right. Definitely a '96. This is the definitely the one that's the best. What? A minute when he said the old '96. So, so with this cigar we had last uh, cigar talk, which mm-hmm. was the uh, what, what what did you have? Yeah, because it had also no. You gave me one, the EP Carrillo. EP Carrillo. Carrillo. Mm-hmm. Uh, how would you yeah, uh, stack that up against that? Oh, this is this is over that, man. It's over that. This, this is definitely over that. Okay. This is this is something that surprisingly I think that. You can handle this. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start out. You know, this this is something that I think anybody can probably come into and handle it because it's, it's a natural. But it, it is gonna be a, a deeper smoke than it would be if you came in with a with a lighter natural or even a Connecticut because that you know a lot of research I've been doing, man. The Connecticut, I'm not a fan of Connecticut. 
But I, I guess I've gotten a hold of a bag, a couple bad Connecticut's. I'm just totally not even with Connecticut. But as far as the, the taste goes, yeah, this is this is this is that's legit. Right with it. Yeah. Now you had the one before that well, you like the Fuentes though, right? Right. So that yeah, I one I had, had that favorite. one I had was decent now I'm about to try it. This is the punch. They said it was called the egg roll. Look the fun they look at. Mm -hmm. Egg roll. Is that just straight to back on the tip? I guess so. We'll like, we'll see. Well, is, is that is that is that? Let me see. Is that made like that? Yeah, it's made like that. That's weird. So are um are gars like alcohol in terms of like the light and the dark? Like you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, like, in a way they can be. That's why this is what Josh had. Good karma told me. <laughs> yeah. He said the dark. <laughs> the dark is the leaves mm -hmm. grown at the top of the plant. Okay. They get the more sunlight, so they get the more. Nutrients which yeah. is stronger. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what the actual table is. Look, you didn't school the boy, yeah. bro. Uh, the man, top man. of the tree, y'all. It's all the sun. It's the top of the tree yeah. when we talking about, you know, your filler. Your filler. And whatever <laughs> tree you're talking about. Yeah, with, with, with whatever you choose. Right. So. Um, yeah, yeah. As far as this one is concerned, man, I like it. It's, like you know, it. smooth like to me. Uh, it's a good, it's not too much of an earthy taste. It's, it's like it's smoother than earthy to me, so. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with this, man. So, one time you like that baccarat, bro? Yeah, I like this baccarat. And I like baccarat at the casino, so. <laughs> it's good. You know what I'm saying? So, this is hand in hand, man. And then, I'm, and then I, I got it with my apple crown. And what I just did, I don't know if y'all peeped it, I dipped my tip. You got to dip it just ever so slightly just to get, you know, get the tip a little wet. And, and you get a nice little taste um, through your cigar when you hit it. So. You 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 peep it, man. So <laughs> that's how we coming, man. Cigar talk, man. With UPCL. Dang. Peace.